Okay, first thing I'm gonna do this time is clean the lens. All right, that looks pretty good. Hey everybody, it's Ken Underwood again. Last week, we, my buddy Rich and Graham at Flat Guitar have provided me with a super dope vintage carving guitar that I'm gonna use to play our Synth One pedal from Keeley Electronics. It's gonna be super dope. So looking forward to that. I gotta, oh, don't wanna break it. Man, oh man, I just got it, dude. Don't break it. Okay, okay, cord. Oh, okay, that's fine, sit down. Gonna have to find some chords really quick. I got I got the one, this one good instrument cable and I gotta find another one. I, I know I have one somewhere, we just have to find it. Let's get that taken care of and then off to the race, we're gonna hear some super dope guitar thingies. I gotta find another chord. I got some basic audio, some tuners. Man, this MIDI interface, I haven't seen this for a while. Holy mackerel. Just a USB one in, one out MIDI for all your MIDI in and out needs. You never know. And some headphones. Okay, so we are not in the right box. What the heck is that? MIDI and some USB cables. Okay, this is not the one we're looking for. All right, it's looking better. I got some clamps. That's always good. Another pair of headphones, which are these? Those are okay. This is what I want right here. So this is an old cable. It's a, a stereo pair. You know, I told you in like my first video, I used to put all my keyboards on a rack and then each of my keyboards would go to a mixer or to a tape deck or whatever. Well, these are, these are the ones that I used to use and I had these massive, these MIDI cables are like 20 feet long and they're so, so awesome. Let's leave that in there clamps in there. Oh, let's patch this thing. All right, so I think the best way to do this for now is I'm just gonna like audition some sounds using this cable. I'm gonna use side one here. Okay, so number one is gonna go into track seven. We'll just listen that way. I think that's gonna be easier to, to fool around and see what we get. All right, so I guess the first thing we need to do is get this thing tuned up quickly. My pick. Man, can you tell I'm not a guitar player? <laughs> okay, so as we get started, we got the guitar and the pedal all hooked up. Um, as a side note, since the song is in F and I'm not a very good guitar player, I just tuned the string to F so that it'll be easier for me to play a part. So I'm cheating a little bit. It's okay, electronics lets you do that. The other thing to note is that since this is completely monophonic, I will probably only be playing on one string because if you do more than one string, it just gets weird. I don't know what's all up with that. Let's get started and see what we can do. So currently we are in a true bypass. So you can hear some kind of level, not a ton. Um, let's go ahead and turn it on. We are in square, the square wave. Let's see how it tracks. Seems kind of, tracking's a little dodgy on that one when it's low. Let's try an octave up. Tracking seems a lot better up an octave. I just don't think it likes that low note. I don't think it likes that note very well. Hmm, it tracks the slides pretty good. Okay, that's cool. Okay, the next looks like a saw too, so let's go to that and see what that does. some serious breakup in it. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of strange. Okay. I don't know what that is, but I like it. I hope I'm recording some of this. I'm just gonna be quiet for a second. Okay, whatever that was, I dug that. <laughs> Let's check out the saw, or no, what is this? Oh, that's a sine wave, let's go to sine wave. Ooh, that's cool. Let's see how it's on the higher strings. That's pretty good tracking, honestly. Okay, so that was the basic mode. There's a chaos mode. When Graham came over, oh hey, special thanks to Graham and Rich Flat from Flat Guitar for hooking me up with a super awesome power supply for this pedal. Um, they knew exactly what I needed. They got it, they brought it. Mm. They're the best. Thank you, Flat Guitar. You guys rock. You're the best. What Graham was reading when he was looking up this pedal online, he was looking it up and he's like, oh, the, the chaos mode is a different tracking algorithm that can be a little less reliable, but a little more glitchy and sometimes a little more fun. So let's give that a try. We'll go back to the square wave. Engage chaos. It is chaos. It's pretty fun. 
Okay, uh, let's move on to the sawtooth with chaos engaged. I kind of like that. It almost, it just sounds like a guitar to me, kind of like a highly distorted electric. I like that, like the way the filter closes up after the note, that's pretty cool. Let's try the sine wave with chaos engaged. Here we go. Oh! I like that one a lot. That hits me right here. I love that. One other thing I forgot to mention, the filter is able to be changed. So like if I play a note, let's say I just play an octave so it's a little cleaner. You could change the filter. Now it would totally be cool to be able to do this while I'm playing and it would be possible if I had a TRS volume pedal or some kind of controller, variable controller with a TRS controller with a pedal and then I could assign it to the filter where there's a jack in the side that you can plug it into and then I could operate the filter with my foot but I can't do that. I think we're gonna try and record, I'm gonna figure out a part, I'm gonna record it, just the guitar into Ableton as a track, an audio track, and then I'm gonna feed that audio track back out through the pedal back into Ableton, and then I'll be able to do some performance on the filter while the thing is happening, which I think will be super cool. Um, it'll also give me a chance, honestly, when this pedal's engaged, I can't hear what the regular guitar sounds like, and I think if I get my bass sound, I don't mean bass like low, I mean bass like the bass of the whole thing, it's like the, the underlying track. If I get the underlying track done well, then I think the whole processing will be better than just trying to like not hear it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record a part into Ableton, we'll loop it back through, out the interface, into the pedal, back into the interface, Face, and then we'll uh, do some performance on the old filter wheel here. I like it when the filter fades out like that when the tracking gets kind of wonky, that's cool. That is pretty dope, I like that. Okay, so I think we have our marching orders. I'll put that thing on uh, bypass. I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try and find some parts that are gonna work with this. And then uh, we're going to see if we can get it in a song. In a couple weeks, we should have uh, the first track ready. This is week two of four. So two weeks from now, we should be able to get another track, the first track out. I look forward to getting this pedal put into the project. And thanks again to Andrew Wong for providing this pedal and uh, sending it to me. I sincerely appreciate it. And double special thanks to the good guys over at Flat Guitar. Rich and Graham are killing it over there. If you want to get some custom pick guards, laser engraved, and uh, some other custom work, go ahead and see them at flatguitar.com. And until I see you next time, have a great one. See ya. All right. So this is my dog, Denver. We got a lot of snow last night, and he's having a good time. What do you think, Danny? You like all the snow, puppy? You like this? We you see? He's our bird. Look at the deer. Go get him. You see him over there? Go get him. Look at him over there. See him? Get him. Go get him. Oh, you're going to get him? No, you're not going to get him. What do you see? They're not over there. They're on the other side. Over there. Yeah, over there. Go, go find them. Where are they? I'm going to go see if you can find them. <laughs>